The year was 1993. Jurassic Park was the top grossing film, fanny packs were all the rage, and back then the term cougar referred to a species of large wildcats, not older women wanting to hook up with younger guys. This is Doe Gentry. Doe, uh, introduce your young man and tell us what you first liked about him. I'd like you to meet Vinny Tortorich. He's a Beverly Hills fitness expert. He's hot, sweet, he loves women, and he's emotionally accessible. Uh, get out of here. <laughs> <laughs> emotionally accessible. Yes. OK. How old are you? 28. 28. Doe? Oh, that F word's so hard to say, but I'm 50. <laughs> really? 50. OK. And what's the difference between dating somebody younger and somebody who is for your age. They uh, will be partners with you. It's a little easier because they see you as an equal. You know, for the younger men, there are, plus, there, there are more pluses for the younger men. Why? How? Oh, it's number one, women don't even hit their sexual prime until they hit 40. They don't even know what's going yeah. on until they're 40. <laughs> I've been dating older Gee, women. Gee, I'm only 39. <laughs> Until next year, you're gonna be all over the place. Oh, I feel sorry for that guy you have. You're gonna be all over the room. Let me let me tell you something. <laughs> older women are where it's at. You have to go with what you want to be with. And if you want to be with an older woman, it's the difference between riding in a Volkswagen and a Cadillac. If you want to ride in a Volkswagen, go right ahead. If you want the Cadillac, go for the older woman. Well now. <laughs> Not every man in the audience agreed with Vinny, like this young guy, Jeremy. He just didn't get it. And you wouldn't go out with Cher? You wouldn't you. go out with Cher? You you like go out with good Cher. question, good Thank question. You. Thank you. Let's yeah. say Cher walked into the room and said she had to have you. <laughs> Pardon us, Cher, but she had to have you. My standards would be high enough that I'd have to say no. <laughs> Standards are those. Oh, wait a wait, oh, Sally, get Cher on the phone. <laughs> and later in that show, that's just what we did. Can yeah. Hear me? Yeah. Can you hear me? Uh huh. Who died and left you king? Vinny <laughs> <laughs> wanted to say something here. Vinny? Cher, uh, my name is Vinny Tortorich. <laughs> <laughs> I want to say this in front of the whole country now. This guy is a very nice guy, but he's wearing flannel. <laughs> now, I'm Cher, you can't see this. I'm dressed in total Versace, and right Who's now I'm right down here? on one knee. Yeah. I'm down on one knee. Is the camera on me? Yeah, camera's Cher, on. Cher, I, I live in Beverly Hills. Let's get together and have lunch. I'll have my agent call your agent, and we'll do it because we'll have a great time. Yeah. Huh? We're, we're actors. Uh, wait, I'm oh, wait. not cheating wait. on her. Wait, just a second. I'm Vinny? not cheating on her. Wait, yeah. wait, Vinny? Yeah. yeah. Hold on. What I want to know is from the ladies in the audience, should I have lunch with this guy? Yeah. yeah, let me just tell you this, Cher. If I were you, I would have lunch with him. Yeah. All right. All right. Yeah. Well, 20 years later, we all want to know, did Vinny and Cher ever do lunch? The big question that everyone still asks uh, 20 years later is, have I actually met Cher? Did we go on a date? Cher did get my number, and she called me. She left a message on my answering machine. I did call the number back, and it was Cher's number. Uh, she didn't pick up. I didn't leave a message, and here's why. Cher had a real relationship with Rob Cavalletti, better known as Bagel Boy. If one paparazzi had taken one picture, I would have instantly become, I'm sure, Spaghetti Boy or some other kind of boy. So I thought it was better just to leave it alone. Okay, I'm pretty sure the only reason you guys even called me was because you want to know about the pink pants. And they were not mine. They belonged to a friend of mine, a gay friend of mine. I haven't seen the pants since the day I got back from Chicago because I handed them back to my friend. 